<clears throat> the mean and standard deviation of a probability distribution. Prob DIST distribution. The mean and the standard deviation of probability distribution. So I hope you remember that. That is a population mean mu. To find the mean, which actually is also called the expected value, known as E or E of X. If you're asked to find the expected value from a probability distribution, it is the same thing as finding the mean or average from that probability distribution. I expect, on average, to have this value at the end of the case. That expected value is the same as the average of the probability distribution. You're going to take the summation of each random variable times its corresponding probability. Notice its population mean because a probability distribution represents all possible outcomes, which is the population. Sigma, population standard deviation. Um, you're going to take the summation of each random variable min uh, minus the mean squared times the corresponding probability uh, probability. And then you're uh, going to take the square root of that. So I'll show you how to use um, these two formulas. But let's, uh, let's use this table. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to write it down here so I can extend it, make it nice and big. So I have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, 6 total outcomes, the corresponding probability 0 0.031, 0 0.156, 0 0.313, 0 0.313, 0 0.156, and 0 0.031. Um, what makes this calculation a little bit easier is to extend the table. So what does this mean? Well, let's start with uh, the mean, x times p of x. I need to take each random variable and multiply it by its corresponding probability. So 0 times 0 0.031, 1 times one, uh, 0 0.156, 2 times 0 0.313. I'm not going to write that for every single one, right? Know what the notation means. Understand what the notation means. This is 0. This is 0 0.156, 0 0.626. 3 times uh, 0 0.313, 0 0.939. Let me check my numbers. Let me just go to my calculator now. 4 times 0.156, and then 5 times 0 0.031. So this one is 0 0.624, and this one is 0 0.155. You guys with me? Okay. Um, <clears throat> I hope you remember what this symbol means. Sum. Take the sum of these. This first and then this. Now take the sum. So add up this column. If you add up this column, that represents the summation of x times p of x. Um, bring it to the next page, which is also known as your expected value for this particular scenario or your population mean for this particular situation. So 0.156 plus 0.626 plus 0.939 plus 0.624 plus 0.155. 2.5. So my expected outcome. Oh. So my expected outcome for this scenario is 2.5. Or my uh, population mean, my mean is 2.5. So what does that mean? On average, um, out of a group of five males, we get an average of 2.5 of them with this genetic disorder. 
I'm going to round that up to three. On average, three. Okay? That's what that means. Standard deviation now. A little bit more effort involved in that, right? So I'm going to extend this column further. And this says, what do you have to do? You have to take each random variable, subtract the mean, take that number, square it, then multiply by the probability of each of them, and then, I should put this around this, add up each of those values. So you have a mission here. You got a bunch of stuff that you have to do. So let me do that. I'm going to take each random variable, subtract the mean, then square it, then multiply by the corresponding probability. Oh, let's do that. So the first one, x. 0 minus the mean we just determined was 2.5, then square it, then multiply by the probability, which is 0 0.031, whatever that number is. Next, x. My next x is 1. 1 minus the mean, 2.5. Square it, times the probability um, value that corresponds to that, 0 0.156. Next, x, 2, minus my probability, uh, I'm sorry, my mean, square it, times my probability, 0 0.313, I'm going to do one more, and then I'm going to, 3, right, this x, minus my mean, 2.5, square it, times the probability for that one, and you guys go ahead and give me numbers, um, 4, minus 2.5, squared times 0 0.156. 5 minus 2.5 squared times 0 0.031. I didn't do these numbers yet, so let's see what these are. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so just be careful order of operations. Two point, so my first one is 2.5 squared. Actually, let me show you my calculator. Two point five squared, then times point zero three one. My first one is point I'm gonna point one nine three seven five. Zero point one nine three seven five. If you guys go ahead of me, let me know what you get. One minus two point five for my next one. Then square that. Then multiply by that probability. Point one five six. Zero point three five one. Check my numbers too, okay? Next one, 2 minus 2.5. Square that. Then times 0 0.313. 0 0.07825. Next, I might just kind of do parentheses. 3 minus 2.5. So this is another way of doing it. Close parentheses, then squared and then times probability, 0 0.78, 0 0.07825. I should have known that would be the same as the one above, but 4, oops, 4 minus, just showing you how to put it in, 2.5, take that value, then square it, take that, then multiply by 0 0.156. Oops, please. 0.351. Hmm. I'm notice, noticing symmetry again. 5 minus 2.5. This should be the same as the first one. Then squared. Then times. This is not always the case. This is just very nice and symmetric, which means it's normally distributed. 0 0.19375. Okay. Um, I'm almost done. The last thing I have to do, what does this formula say? Take all that and then add it up. Take this column, right, and add up this column. Add up this whole column. And let's see what I get. So I'm going to kind of do it this way. I'm going to go two times point one nine three seven five because there's two of them plus the parentheses two times point three five one because there's two of those I'm just gonna go plus two times point zero seven eight two five
and all together that is equal to 1.246. 1.246. Awesome. Yes. Now I'm not done. Why am I not done? The last thing <laughs> that this tells me to do is then, what's the symbol? Square root. So finally, my standard deviation is the square root of 1.246. Finally, I'm there. The square root of my last answer. And I'm around approximately one point, you know, it's 11624, blah, blah. Because I have discrete random variables, I'm going to round to the nearest tenth, one more digit, than um, what is represented in my random variables. So this is my mean or expected value, my average, my expected outcome for this scenario. On average, I expect this outcome to be this, in this case 2.5, um, <clears throat> and my standard deviation is 1.1. So, I mean, really it's just a matter of following the formulas, right? Um, obviously, the longer and the bigger the table, the more tedious, the, the worse. This one yeah, could be worse. Um, but um, that's how you find your expected value or your average, or your mean, and your standard deviation from a probability distribution. How do you find your variance? If you want your variance, you know, if you're asked for your variance, once you have your standard deviation, it's your variance squared. I would take the non-rounded one and square it, though, and then round it, not the rounded one, because then you'll have more error in your result. So 1.246, I'm going to say 1.2 rounded. Approximately 1.2. 